Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Doug Curran. And I'm Leslie Draffin. We begin tonight with our top story. Police say they are working with the Temple Youth Baseball Association after a shooting at Wilson Park. They say patrols in the area have been increased, but they could take further action soon. Curtis Quillen joins us now. And Curtis, what steps are being taken? Well, guys, the Temple Police Department says they have a meeting scheduled this week with the league and Parks and Rec to see what steps need to be taken in addition to the increase in patrol. But they say they don't believe this was a random act of violence. We actually had some off duty cops who were there as well. Friday night as parents and kids in the Temple Youth Baseball Association gathered for games at Wilson Park. They heard a shot. Temple police say just after 715, they believe two adolescent males walked up to a car, displayed a handgun and tried to get in. When they couldn't, one shot was fired into the vehicle, which hit the passenger door. After that, the victim sped off but hit another vehicle in the parking lot. One of them was taken to the hospital for minor cuts. The suspects left in a stolen older model Ford Ranger, which police say they found nearby. Kids were pretty scared, you know, and I'm sure there's still some kids that are pretty scared young. We had our younger ages out here playing that night. Three days later, you can still see the broken glass and the busted up taillight here in the parking lot at Wilson Park, but it's not keeping people away. Parking lot is full Monday night as games continue. And the Temple Police Department says it's already starting to beef up patrols here. We have already put the area on close patrol in addition to the other parks. So what that means is that there will be a higher presence um, and hopefully you'll be able to see a lot more of that. Everybody's taking action as far as making sure everybody's going to be safe out here and everybody can enjoy uh, coming out to the ballpark. On Wednesday, League President John Hinkle will meet with city officials to figure out what's next. As for what will happen in the future, we do have a spring patrol that starts normally after school lets out um, in the summer, but we're looking at hopefully moving that up a little bit. Because at the end of the day, there's one goal everyone shared. You know, just the game plan as far as what all we'll do. Now, Temple Police say the investigation into Friday's incident is still ongoing, so they cannot confirm at this time whether or not an arrest has been made. Doug, Leslie. All right, thanks, Curtis.